Hey folks, I'm Tavian Glory, and welcome to part 22 of my campaign as Gondor in Divide and Conquer mode for Medieval 2 Total War. As you can see, things are pretty much as normal over here in the east. Uh, we've let the orcs keep eastern as Gilead for now. Uh, we've got our normal sort of army in there. These guys back in Minas Tirith, uh, you've still got... Oh, we can retrain you now, actually. How much... Um, yeah, let's go ahead and, well, let's come back and do that because I might need to use that money for something else. Um, so we're going to leave the orcs there. Uh, up at Kirandros, we've got a large army here that seems to be heading north. Uh, we've moved Denethor up here to Kirandros. It means we don't have a governor in Minas Tirith, which is something that I probably want to sort out. Um, I had thought about having Eorthon sit in here, but he's not the greatest of governors. Um, and I want to use his troops anyway as part of our armies to chase down uh, fleeing remnants. I don't really have the strongest of forces up there. In terms of the infantry, Yeah, right, I think what we'll do is bring Calamar down in here. That gives us an extra 100 odd in income. I was going to send him here because we've got uh, mines due to complete next turn. So I might end up moving somebody Maybe Hurin or Cameron back up to Kalanad at some point. We shall see. So, for the most part, though, we're going to leave things as they are here. Uh, we have no general down here. Moved everyone out. The focus for me just now is on improving our income. So, we've got the gold mines in. Callan had that will complete next turn. We've got gold mines being constructed here, another three turns, and I need to remember to put the tax rate up to very high before that completes. We have who's this? Turlin heading for Tarnost. So the income is slowly creeping up there. If, Moved Dwellin into Settleland. I don't know if that's really the best thing to do. And moving you, uh, Gondorian General Denenian, uh, get in there. Thara Grandos. Uh, it's not in the best shape in terms of public order, and it's a castle, so we can't change the tax. Um, let's see. Can I recruit? Uh, these guys, the income, the, the upkeep's only 10 of a difference, so I think we'll just recruit some Gondor militia, send them across. So, as you see, I did want to use my money for something else. We'll get that the company of militia across into Tharagrondost to help with public order. Up here, um, this is the Cav General. Do I want to put him back in here or send him somewhere that he might get free upkeep? It's expensive to have out and about. I don't want to leave him in one of these forts. Uh, because then we're likely to lose him if the fort is attacked. I was thinking about sending him across to be a governor over here. Do you have any traits? Uh, Gondorian shield, boar hunter, Fighter. Yeah, 
Yeah, okay. Cane driller. Yeah, uh, I don't know if he would be any good as a governor, but I think we'll send him across to Sutherland. See how we get on. So yeah, as you saw there, we've got a small force here, mostly uh, archers. Didn't bring up some extra infantry. So we'll just leave that as it is for now. And our diplomats... Now, I don't know... We've already got diplomatic relations with the goblins. I think I'm going to send you north and west. Path blocked uh, by an independent faction. Yeah, so we're going to send you up along the mountains or to the Grey Havens and our other diplomat down here. You're on your way up to Dale or Esgaroth. Trade rights in particular. Yes, we know this. How about map information? Oh, you're bankrupt. Not great. You're supposed to be rich traders. Let's see if we can get some money from you. Yeah. Maybe. Good. And I doubt you'll go for an alliance. Nobody ever wants to go for an alliance. Okay, fine. We'll take the cash and head up to the Lonely Mountain. But that gives us a bit more income per turn. I mean, it actually be better just to get a grand off them and then I could have retrained these troops after all. Not these troops. These troops. Right. I'm going to end the turn. And see what Mordor gets up to. How much would you have to make? 400. And it, income will obviously jump up next turn when Galahad's mines are completed. Didn't talk all, at all about Variags of Kand or Haradrim. Okay, as Giliath is besieged. Well, it looks like the Witch King approaching Cairandros and the large army has it's moved off northwest. Yeah, so Haradrim, Variags of Kand, a threat on our southern border still. Nazgul returned to Mordor. Then Larach besieged. No real interest. The One Ring has been located. Ah, uh, well, it can be located up there. We're getting nowhere near that. We have our Gondor Militia. We have our mines complete. Faction announcements. Uh, another Wayne. Following the fat, gain some traits. Of, uh, expands his retinue. Profits of 645. So, whoa, that is a big jump in income. Uh, Callan had, would add you. Correct me if I'm incorrect, but was that not 1564? Before you completed your mines. Strange. Right, anyway, what's happened here? Uh, Western Osgiliath is besieged by some orc scum. And up here, the Witch King. Okay, what's your unit? <laughs> right, so I don't know if I'm going to go out and attack. It might have more cav, but that is a pretty strong 
general's unit there, and this army's not really equipped now to uh, fight Cav. We've only got the one unit of Territorial Guardsmen. Yeah, so we'll let the Witch King come and besiege Kerandros. Uh, he can fight us where he can, make the best use of his Cav. So we're going to sit patiently on that for now. We're going to retrain these troops. And that's not a lot of money for any more buildings. I'm half tempted to bring Callum around and send him up to Kalanad. But no, I'm going to hold off. We won't do that. Um, Pillar, we've only got a general there, yep. Uh, just a general there. Looks like there are any more armies coming across, which is good. I wish I could go and take Linher and then give it to... Well, I suppose I can sell, probably, but it means bringing my diplomat back. Don't want to go and do that. Ethering, this is another two turns. Uh, what's the public order like here? Uh, 145, so I'm going to put it up. It'll still be okay. Population growth goes down, obviously, but we'll leave that there for now. Okay. And uh, that's Enid Wythe's diplomat. You're heading for Serland, and we've got you in Serland. I guess we could push you over. Well, do I want another general actually down here? I want generals all over. Let's get... We'll come back to that. Yeah, we'll move you here first. We'll move you next turn. And then here, we'll get you on the move. Can we build anything in Thuragrandos? No. Um, we've already actually got the meeting hall. Yeah, we're not spending any money, I don't think. Any improvements to be made here? We've got building ground. Yeah, okay. So I think we'll be keeping the money that we have at the moment. Let's get back up to our diplomats. Uh, keep on moving up around here. And talk to these guys. Trade rights, please. And you have reasonable wealth, so how about a regular tribute? Uh, I've already clicked that, right? Uh, uh, no, um, how about 200 for, say, 10 tons? Uh, no, 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 go away. Map information, and you give me regular tribute, that's what we're talking about. Balanced. Let's give it a try. Okay. Let's just accept that. Dane under the mountain. How about an alliance? Aye. Okay, forget that. Okay, so let's have you now head out east. You are heading up here. Actually, maybe have you come around. 
that direction. Really? No, nah, just got there. Right. Um, we've got loads of cash now. So let's head out to Thuragrondost. I don't really want to spend it all on garrison quarters or stables, to be honest. Culture's fine out here. Practice range. I was hoping that I could maybe get... Nah, it's a bit... A bit too much to hope for. We could get libraries in both. Yeah, I think we'll start with garrison quarters here, actually. Because we will probably will need to recruit up here before much longer. Right. So, in here we do have uh, these guys being retrained. Also not going to be in time to join in this fight here. Next time out we'll probably be bringing these guys back. Yeah, probably the Gondor archers. How much are we? 826. Let's get you down here. And you can help to run down the remnants there. And we'll move on again. Okay, well, we're not having you controlled by the AI. I'll go ahead and fight this battle. So the army, as we saw earlier, it's um, there's one unit of Southrons in it, I think, and the rest is all the usual orc host. Um, probably some missile troops in there as well, some scouts. Archers, uh, but it'll do its usual charge across this. But it's got cav. I'm not sure if it's got cav. Um, again, we've got to set up back here. Okay, no messing about this time. Let's do it this way. And no messing about. I said, come on, you in there. Okay, tiny unit of archers there. Let's get you and you up here. And I don't want them all grouped up. You don't shoot it well, stay in guard mode. You're not in skirmish mode, uh, you in guard mode as well. Go ahead, start the battle and Get on the move. And we'll have our cav walk up here. Right. So, as we've done before, you're going to head for there. We'll have Boromir in here. You in behind there. Um... Yeah, you go sit around there somewhere. You in there, right. And probably want you about there. You there and you. I think that's fine. We'll go six times speed. 
till we get folks a bit closer in. Right, you into shield wall or spear wall. And yeah, something like that. You're going to stand as our captain there. Uh, Bottomer. Actually, stand there. Let's earn the axemen. Have you in there? Right, no sign of any cav yet, so that's good news. Swordsman in there. Um, decided to change my mind a bit with our setup here. Do that. Also gives it a wee bit more space for these guys. This looks a bit better when they come charging across the bridge right in at this guy here. Alright, still not seeing of any cav. I'm just going to keep footering about with this until I'm entirely happy with it. You to there. You there. You there. Right, and we'll go back up to six times speed. Hopefully these guys sort themselves out. They have. And here they come. And obviously no cav or they would have been here already. So can you reach? Not yet. None of you guys can. There we go. Right, and what is it actually? Orc scouts, good. Start taking out the missile troops to start with. And uh, we've seen this sort of thing before where they send their missile troops charging across uh, into melee contact before then pulling them back and have them stand back. You now rain arrows in. So I'm not complaining, quite happy for them to do that. And then they come round, then they'll change their mind. Probably. Yeah, there they go. Let's have our archers. I just keep shooting away, actually. They're doing good damage there for now. On two units. One of them's broken already. Look at these broken and shaking units and right from the off. You attack them. You pull back a bit. Shoot them. You get out of melee combat. If you would. Try hard, get back to there. Okay, fine. Uh, shoot the light infantry there. Ah, here comes some cav.
take that like cav. Actually, let's just have you form up again there. Boromir, come forward a bit. You there, that's fine. Shoot at the 227 Orc Scouts. Looks like this army actually was mostly made up of archers, one sort or another. And the light calf, is it gone? Looks like it. Not quite, actually. Still got 11 men in there. Okay. Find the 199. Oh, no, you shoot it. I just actually shoot it. Anybody that's in there. You're out of ammo. So we'll have you pull back to there for now. Let's bring our calf a bit further forward. Aha! Uh -huh. Enemy general is dead. Let's take you off um, guard mode. And you as well. Looks like Everyone's for running. Get the calf uh, up to here. And there's the Southerns. Anyone else yeah, marching forward? These guys are wavering. So I still get some units coming in. Uh, one there. Actually looks fresh. So can you find them? Uh, 250, 249, where is it? You attack the eager units. Uh, you come out of uh, shield wall or spear wall. And we'll get you to march forward as well. What are the losses like? 35%. Still got the swordsman here. I probably should bring you into the fight as well. I was holding them back. I didn't, didn't want to congest this bridge any more than it already is, but never mind. You go ahead, do that. Cav will charge forward once everyone starts running. Uh, let's have some leadership in here. We've got 214 shaken men, 224. Right. Could you come up here and you come up here too? I'll try and force our way around the flank there. You, sir, stab him. Okay, these guys charging. Interesting. Uh, 
and you back here, could you just try and march up to there? Oh, you're taking uh, missile fire, that's why you've lost some men. Okay, looks like we've got some, no, I thought we saw some routing units here. I think it's more actually these guys coming forward. I'll keep on going. I want you through there going for those missile units. Get some more broken troops here. Yeah, not going to last much longer. Just need this clump here to break. Right, here we go. Okay, everyone just start running up there. You charge into what's left of that light infantry once everybody else gets past. Is everyone here off guard mode? Yes. Tell you what, don't charge, don't charge, just stay where you are. Wait till you've got a clear path. Come on, break. Too stupid to break. Right, there we go. Let's get the cav into the move into action now. Excuse me, coming through, pardon me. Uh, continue the battle. Get after those orc scouts if you can catch them. Okay, you're beginning to get through now. What did we see there? 72. And so hopefully our Cav can catch up with some of these fleeing trips over here, get us to the 85 magic number. You guys deal with them, you keep coming through here. What have we got there? 12. Don't need to worry about them at all. So keep on going. There's some nice juicy targets for you. Still eager and fresh. I suppose if not been charging that far. Yeah. Slap some of these guys in the back of the head with your blades as you pass. 77% now and you're getting amongst them. Okay, there were 99 there when we gave you the order. So 
Good work straight away. These folks coming back in can't, can't possibly be. Right. Um what well, happened there? Come back to these guys. Because I wanted you to turn around and attack a larger unit. Right, that's fine. There we go. Then we'll just fast forward now. And we could end the battle, actually. Let's go ahead, do that. That's fine now. Okay, we only lost 15 troops. And fairly well spread out as well. Three from the Godron Infantry. The Archer's actually losing three there as well. Right. So that gives us the first victory. Uh, well, uh, Kira Andros has been besieged. It's not actually going to be attacked at this point. Okay, we're just also going to execute. Ah, so the Witch King hasn't laid siege. He's going to head away. I thought he was going to hang about and come in as their backup, but obviously not. So we'll probably step out and defeat that army on the bridge. There's a wee Right there. Very eggs of can sending an army across seem to be wiped out. And uh, is worsened. Retraining complete with the Gondor spearmen. Nice. We have our green exchange. Uh we have a good amount of money, everything's in the green. Settlement besieged. Thirteen hundred forty one. Okay, I'm going to put in a break, but before I do that. I'm going to come here, we've got one turn left, we're going to stick the tax rate up to very high and hope that Derverin gets a good trait out of that. And we'll pick this up again next time out. So we've had immediate, no, we're not besieged yet. So we can move these spearmen in. And could even send those guys back to retrain, but I think we'll just send them back. I should maybe have checked this first. Where, where are they? I can't recruit the Gondor archers here. Okay. Interesting. Get back in there then. Right. Anyway, I'm going to put in a break. Stop footering about here. Uh, thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please leave me a comment, rate the video, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content, and hope to see you again next time. Cheers.